Hey, what is going on everybody? Matt here and in this video I'm going to share with you my opinion on SMP, scalp micropigmentation. Would I do it? Wouldn't I do it? Stay tuned. This video is brought to you by GoFiber Hair Building Fibers. Pick up your free sample and get instant hair confidence. Start your transformation today. Hey, welcome back. My name is Matt and you are watching my hair loss and hair transplant related channel. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe right now and get my free ebook, five things I wished I had known before my hair transplant. And now let's proceed with the topic of today's video. Well, scalp micropigmentation is just another anti-hair loss treatment using micro needles to deliver pigment to your scalp, which has to be matching the overall density and color of your existing hair to make this replication look very natural. Scalp micropigmentation can be done in two ways. Either you add more density to your existing hair, which is thinning to make it look more dense. The second way how scalp micropigmentation can be used is to literally recreate a Norwood 6 or Norwood 7 type of guy who is already shaving his head and give him an illusion of hairline and temples and actually full head of hair. So basically you will look like this. Okay. And I really feel that this can be as life changing as a hair transplant can be, but you really have to be sure that this is something that you want, that you are willing to live with for the rest of your life and you will be happy with it for the rest of your life. Okay. But now since this channel is mainly devoted to hair transplants, I'm gonna tell you my opinion on scalp micropigmentation, but also of course compare it to hair transplants. Okay. So let's start. Now, as probably many of you watching this video, I was also thinking about scalp micropigmentation and if I would ever want to do this, I would uh, probably start with a very soft look for the first session just to see how my skin kind of carries the pigment and then maybe during the second and third possible session, I would add more density and more darker look to it. I would like to mention that the trichopigmentation, which is a little bit less permanent than the actual scalp micropigmentation, the trichopigmentation lasts about 12 to 18 months and is actually a suitable anti loss treatment for anybody who is maybe thinking about the scalp micropigmentation, but he's like, oh, maybe it's too permanent. Maybe I will not like it. So maybe you want to check out the trichopigmentation and just test it for 12 to 18 months. As it is the case by the hair transplant, I think that the hardest part to recreate in a natural way would be uh, the hairline and temples, because this is something that's gonna really draw people's attention to. It's gonna be something that's gonna frame your face. People will notice it if it's not natural. And I think after seeing many uh, before after pictures uh, after scalp micropigmentation, I realized that the most naturally looking results are the results with not as high contrast between the skin color and the pigment color. If the pigment color is way darker than the skin color, it starts looking less natural. Also, if the hairline is very edged up, very framey, it's not as soft. You know, this is also the result when I see, okay, it's not very natural, you know. And if you take a look at guys who had never got any hair transplant and, and any scalp micropigmentation uh, with a close shaved look, like for example, these guys here, uh, you see that even their hairline starts in a very soft way. It's not like this crazy straight line, you know. Now, despite of many scalp micropigmentation artists uh, telling you that this is a permanent anti hair loss solution, I think of it as a little bit less permanent solution in comparison to a hair transplant, simply because the pigment can just soften much faster if you expose yourself to the sun regularly without enough protection. You are not wearing a hat or a cap, you go to the beach very often, or your skin is simply not able to hold that pigment properly for a long enough time before you need a touch up. This is a disadvantage to a hair transplant because once the hair had been implanted in the right way on a particular spot on your scalp, this will not need any further touch ups. Okay. But by the scalp micropigmentation, even a spot which had been once 
uh, pigmented or treated with this scalp micropigmentation will may require another touch-up because the pigment will soften. Usually three to five years is the period when guys start to notice that the contrast will be a little bit softer. Okay? It's not gonna be as rich in contrast as it was at the beginning initially. This will all depend on the area that will be treated and that will be pigmented and also on your skin characteristics. There are guys who need two, three, four, or even more sessions depending on the factors I just mentioned. Now, when it comes to the cost, uh, scalp micropigmentation is definitely less expensive than a hair transplant. It can range uh, from 2,000 all the way up to four or 5,000 US dollars. Depends again on the surface of your scalp which need to be covered or pigmented. And well, the touch-ups are not as expensive. Usually only one or two sessions are required, unlike three or more sessions at the beginning before you had never done a scalp micropigmentation. So this is actually not as costly to be honest and I could live with that as long as I have a great result on my head, you know. Now, the good thing here in comparison to a hair transplant that many guys will probably like is that the end result can be already seen after like two, three weeks up to one month uh, since the scalp micropigmentation uh, until the redness will disappear from your uh, uh, pigmented spots and then you have a result, okay? It looks good already. By hair transplants, you know that you will wait uh, from five, six, all the way up to 12 months to see the full result. And it can be quite frustrated. You know, it's a patient's game. So this is a win for a scalp micropigmentation for sure. The pigment can be removed with laser. It usually takes one to two sessions, which is something that you probably don't want, but there are some results which I have seen, very successful results where the pigment was successfully removed from the hairline and then another hairline was created because you know if you get a scalp micropigmentation as a 25 year old guy you will probably choose a more edged up look with a more you know low positioned hairline and as you age maybe you turn 30 40 50 you would like to have something more matured a hairline which is going a little bit higher with a little bit of this M shape and then you need to have uh, some part of the initial uh, pigment removed with a laser which is of course possible and kind of have it uh, redone in a more uh, natural way suitable to your age but hey let me know what you think about it uh, in the comments below how do you feel about scalp micropigmentation I'm sure there are also guys who have already done it so let us know in the comments below guys how you like your result and would you recommend it let us know now here's what's important if you're somebody who's interested in having your own hair restored no scalp micropigmentation and no hair system none of that your own hair restored which can be styled which can be washed and cut the way you want then i highly recommend you to sign up for my free consultation call to which you can sign up in the description below this free consultation will help you find a reliable hair transplant doctor in your area. And also, if you are willing to travel overseas, it will save you some money while still help you get a great quality hair transplant. So this is what it's going to do. So if you're interested, make sure you sign up right now. The only thing you have to do is go to my website, fill out an application form, which takes like two minutes to complete. And then we will discuss your hair loss situation together and get you started and help you out get a great hair transplant, okay? Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.